Hi, welcome to my video. In this video, I will demonstrate how to download data files into MATLAB to be used to do your homework. I will uh, demonstrate the file types that are used for the 1030 and 1040 courses at the Salt Lake Community College. Uh, these consist of a .dat and occasionally a .text and also currently the uh, Excel files. So first and foremost, we need to make sure that your data files are in your current folder. And you can see here in my current folder, I don't have any data files, just some uh, graded homework that I was working on. So to change your current folder to where your data files are, you click on this icon here, which is a folder with a green arrow, and it'll open up this navigation window, and then go to uh, the place on your hard drive where you're keeping your data files. I created a folder here called online classes and, and select folder. Now you'll notice that it is now desktop online classes and I just happen to have two files in here. Um, I guess if I'm going to do a dot text I probably ought to have one of those two. <clears throat> And through the magic of pause button, we now have a .txt file in here that we can play with. So now that our files are in our current folder, inside of your editor window, or your M file, you can, um, so we're gonna load the .dat file here. <clears throat> it's plain and simple. You type in load, followed by the file name, which in this case is cold work with the extension. And that's it. As soon as you execute this code, you'll notice in our workspace we have cold work. I probably should have cleared that first, and let's try that and do it again. So now we're going to execute this code. We now have a matrix in here that is our cold work data file. And from that, you can then. Um, Let's see, I'm thinking that the time vector uh, was the f first column. So we want all the rows from the first column. And then we'll just pull out uh, the second column. Will work. <clears throat> all the rows from the second column and then we'll plot our time versus data and execute them and you'll see it created the vectors and pulled it in <clears throat> so the purpose of this is to show the uh, procedure for loading data files this here it makes us very versatile because if your data file changes you don't have to re-import copy the data into your M file and then re-execute. Um, every time you load this now, it'll load whatever data is within your data file over here. Okay, so now to load a .txt file, um, you do basically the same thing. You do uh, the load command followed by the file name, which is hot tub dot text and let's see what's in that file we come over here to our workspace hot tub is a 25 by 2 um, again I would think that it's possibly a uh, the first column is going to be our time vector so we want all the file rows in the first column and the data would be hot to all the rows from the second column. And then if we plot time versus data, <coughs> it's a funky looking plot. Okay, but again, the purpose of this video is to show how to uh, download or import uh, load uh, data files into MATLAB. 
Okay, so so again, uh, it's easy. You make sure that your data files are within your current directory, and then it is just load the file name followed by the extension, and that'll load the data file into MATLAB with the name of the data file as the name of the variable. So now, new to uh, the fifth edition of the textbook, we have uh, Excel files. Uh, this is new to 2016B uh, uh, version of MATLAB. Uh, we've never dealt with uh, Excel files uh, before. So, uh, so this has been a learning experience for me also. So we are going to uh, show you how to load Excel files. Um, there are three ways that I know of right now on how to load Excel files. Um, first off, you can come in here to the current folder where your file is located and double click on the folder, which will open up this dialog box for the import. You can change the variable name of each column um, and then import selection. Okay, and then you go to your workspace and you'll have a whole bunch of vectors, one for each column of the data file. You can also do the same thing from the home page and click on the import data. It'll open up this, we'll open the file, and it opens up the exact same data file, or not data file, but dialog box for the import. That's nice, um, but if you're trying to use your um, Im import file again on a changing basis, you don't want to have to import every time you change the matrix. So I have learned, and I, I, I learned on my own. I know that's not allowed, but I did it anyway. Um, I learned a command that will load it into the memory just like the load command. So I'm going to assign this to a variable called data. Um, I'm going to uh, first come up here and clear the workspace and the command window. So a variable called data. And then the command you want to use is called X, um, XLS read, followed by an open parenthesis, a single quotation mark, and then the data file name and extension. X, uh, followed by a closing single quotation mark and a closing parenthesis. And that's it. Uh, that will read the data file in. Um, I'm not sure what's on this, so let's just plot the whole thing and see what happens. Oops, we're going to plot data. <clears throat> and cross our fingers and hope that it works. There's, oh, look at that, we got years, and our plot window is over here. And so if we close that window, it'll be more spectacular when we see it fly open. And cheek, there's our data file. So this imported that Excel file, but instead of importing it as a whole bunch of vectors, it imported it as a single matrix which to me is a lot more useful. Can not, well, you know, I guess now you'd have to go through and ex, extract the various different columns. Uh, but it, it, it makes it easier if you change your data file. And it, it, you know, like where I'm at in my office, I create a new file every time I run my test tool and I load that file in and I don't have to import it every time. I just want it to be able to load the new data. Okay, um, that is the, that's that's how you load data files into MATLAB. Uh, hopefully this video helps you out. Um, if not, uh, post some comments down. I, I, I can handle it. I got a good therapist. Okay, thanks. Bye.